So we went to the store and we got all the stuff that you need to make the wash tub base or as they call it here in New Hampshire, a gut bucket base. And um, it's really a very simple process and it's fun to make and not to mention it's fun to play. Um, and you start out first of all with a wash tub. Now we bought this at Home Depot. You don't need a, such a big one like this. Uh, you, this one is, is obviously a large one or as they say, large one, and um, um, we, uh, it gives a deeper sound, obviously, the bigger one, but you don't need such a big one. Uh, and then, then you have to have, obviously, uh, a broom handle. This is very key. This is going to uh, attach the line to the gut bucket itself. Uh, the larger and more sturdy you get, the better off you're going to be, the longer it's going to last. It's not going to wear out and crack and dry up and all that good stuff. And then the line that I found would be the best one is, uh, this is the tricky part because, and this is what I found to be a, a good size. The larger clothesline type stuff is what you can use too if you have it around the house. That's, that's all fine and dandy. But uh, the clothesline uh, stretches really easily. This doesn't stretch. This is 1164th line. This line works for me. Uh, and then, of course, you need the standard. Uh, we went to uh, Home Depot, and got went to the brass fittings department and the hardware department, and got uh, the brass fittings where you put the line up through the hole that you drill in the middle of the wash tub base, and uh, this will allow the line not to be frayed and cut by the uh, hole itself, which does happen. And then, of course, you get uh, another washer for the bottom and um, tape. And this is, these are all the elements you need to make this wash tub base. Let's go ahead and put this thing together now, and then we'll make it sing. Now, where are you going to be using the one I usually use on stage? Um, this is a better size one. If you can get this, that's fine. If you, if you can't, the other, the other one's fine too. But this is the one we're going to use, so let's get started. See, what you want to do is make sure you can tell easily on these things they have they have ridges in the bottom you know for support you want to get right in the middle of, of this make a hole make sure the hole is is large enough uh, for our hardware and um, now you can see why you can't put the line right through here and tie a knot because it's just going to snap right off and that's why you need the hardware for it but you cut the hole in the middle and then we'll go on to the hardware. We're going to install the hardware because obviously, like I said before, you can't put the line just through here. It's not going to work. So you get the bushing uh, that we get from the store and, and you get this part. This going underneath and this going on the top where you put the line through. Now, the, another part is to make sure you have a, a washer because otherwise this, you're going to have issues with this right here. So this part will put through here like this. Hold on to that. Put the washer on here like that, then the uh, bushing uh, goes on slicker, slicker than uh, green corn goes through the new maid as they say. And then there you go, you got a place to put the line right through. So let's get that on now. Real easy. Bring it out to the side, always have enough. Then I take a washer that has a small hole in it that just barely fits through the line like that. Give yourself enough line that you can work with at the end um, and then just put a couple loops like that and then I just go like this a couple times and then uh, it's very simple and then you have yourself a knot like that which the washer will come down and hit the end of and here you get, you get metal on metal which is very nice for the sound of the, of the washed up base and then of course all you have to do is take some tape and put it on here then if it does get frayed at the end you have some uh, some more line to work with. So let's move on and get to the uh, broom handle. Now probably the most difficult part of putting this whole thing together is getting the broom handle cut and put together right. Um, this broom handle here is obviously too large for it. What my suggestion would be and what I usually do is take it, put it in the ground next to the wash tub base and then cut it uh, about the right level of the top, maybe a little bit shorter because you do want it to come up here 
and and where people are user friendly you don't want them holding it like this or down here like that so you want to cut it there and then put the groove in the in the bottom and put the hole in the in the front and i'll show you what i mean because i've got the other one here and um, this is a groove that you have to the notch you put in the bottom and then here's the hole you put in where the line goes through and the notch goes here on on the lip of the wash tub and uh, so it swings back and forth and then you put the hole uh, you put the line in through the hole here uh, stretch it it's going to stretch the lines going to stretch put your other foot up here for leverage um, reef it down like that just hold on to it just get a good sense of things and then you're playing it and then of course you go to fasten it up here and uh, and make sure you stretch the line it's like a guitar string you got to stretch them before they work right and uh, we know the importance of stretching so <laughs> let's move on and I'll show you how to uh, wrap it up we're getting close like I said I mark it a little shorter right here um, the line uh, where I think it's going to be and let's go cut this and I took a little of the line off, but that's okay. Now we have to make it that's going to be good. And now we've got to put a groove in the end right here, and uh, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, now what we're going to do is put a notch in initially here to put on here. Like the other one I had, um, you just got to put a notch in here and start with a line. I usually take a, a, a jigsaw jigsaw like this to start with um, just put a guideline down in the middle here uh, about like that so you know where you're going and then take the jigsaw make sure it's sturdy like this um, and let's see let's try it and see where we go Okay, I purposely put an angle in there because uh, we could just go straight down and we'll have uh, it's sort of like cutting a tree and and there's the angle that we need and now and now what this will do We'll, this will hang right here on the side very nicely. Now the only other thing we need to do is, is take this and uh, make a hole uh, through the top of this uh, broom handle and uh, quarter inch drill would work. Make sure that you put give yourself a nice guy hole so you don't go all over the place. Those of you who need the hole, start slowly and get it uh, And, and what I usually like to do is kind of give it a little bit of a play because as we know any type of uh, any type of friction you're going to break the line so here you put the line through and we're ready to put it together Okay, now we have the groove in there, and now we're just going to simply, and we have this, uh, this hole made, and it's larger than it needs to be because uh, you want to try to put this in twice. Uh, so we take this, put this in the groove where it's going to be, and then the important thing is when you put the line through, is it's going to stretch like a mother. Now we fasten it. What I do is I take the line, you can never have enough spare, and then start wrapping it around and this also if you wrap it around nicely like this it makes a great a great handle uh, and so you wrap it around nicely nice and neat and plus it gives you spare line if it breaks down at the bottom you can use it too so there you go you stretch that line and then you come up here like this 
reef it right up like that. And then what I do is I go through one more time here, come out through like that, like this, and then we can tie it up and we've made ourselves a wash tub base. Now we have a wash tub base made. Um, the only thing that we did at the end was put tape uh, to wrap up our handle and tape underneath to keep the washer from falling down and um, tape on the top a little bit for, for the buzzing. I do that once in a while. And I've got a microphone underneath it uh, to show you what it sounds like. So if you're right handed, you put it on this side obviously. And then I'm left handed so I put it over here and uh, we'll get that on here again. It's still tight from um, being new and stretch, but it'll stretch out, trust me. So now we have, and you have a lot of fun with this. And you don't have to go up and down like this. This is what this is for. So you have different sounds. So that's how to make a washed up bass out of stuff you find around the house. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time here on the Funny Farm.